in this match. One of the opponents is Marvin Turner, 245 pounds from Riverdale, Georgia. And that music is for his opponent from the, look at him, the south side of Chicago, greeting the people at 310 pounds. Here, bad, bad Leroy Brown, right here. The referee is Nick Patrick. Look there you have it, bad, bad Leroy Brown uh, going up against Marvin Turner. One fall with a... Uh, 10 minute time limit and this should be quite a match indeed. Marvin Turner moves in very quickly and it is uh, bad, bad Leroy Brown at well over 300 pounds indicating very quickly the tremendous strength that he has. Turner tries to close in again giving away about 60 pounds here and uh, going for a top wrist off and again bad, bad Leroy Brown simply overpowers him. See, much, much like Unlike rather uh, Bob Armstrong, this is going to be very interesting here. You see what this man should do, though, now, Mr. Soli, is just there's a little science here. He's outweighed by 60 pounds, and Leroy Brown is a street scrapper. A fighter is what he is. So what this man ought to do is go to wear him down endurance-wise. He should have started slow and slowly wear him down until the tongue is dragging, then go for his form of attack. But he's got his own fire. It'll be interesting to see what's going to happen. Oh, body slam by Bad Bad Leroy Brown, and... Uh... Brown kind of gives me the impression that just about anything he wants to do at any given time is exactly what's going to happen. It's just true, you know, Mr. Sully, as long as he can breathe. That's why I know what I'm talking about. If that man would have gone there at the beginning and slowly, slowly reared him down, slowly gone at ankles at knees, slowly went once he got him tired, he could do anything he wanted to with Leroy Brown. Right now, he's so powerful that he's, not, he's just not doing it right. But then again, we're not all, we're not all right, are we? <laughs> the chest, throws him to the canvas, and bad, bad Leroy Brown, glancing blow off the top of the head, now a head butt to the side, near the temple, that puts uh, Marvin Turner back to the canvas once again. While Turner is out, trying to get back into the ring, let me just briefly say that uh, certainly uh, uh, the Georgia Bulldogs have uh, nothing to uh, feel uh, uh, badly about regarding uh, their bull uh, appearance. Herschel Walker, Buck Ballou, and all of the rest doing an outstanding job. They acquitted themselves uh, tremendously, and uh, certainly we're all very, very proud of the Georgia team. It is Marvin Turner back into the ring now, uh, and it is uh, bad, bad Leroy Brown catching and coming off the ropes. Another looping right hand, and Turner, that body reddened by uh, constant blows from bad, bad Leroy Brown, and Leroy Brown brings it back to his feet once again. See, this is where Mr. Soli's stamina and, and, and thinking while, you, while you're hurt can come into condition. Oh! 300 plus pounds of rapid down across the uh, chest of Marvin Turner. And that will cause all of the instant paralysis you need for a three count. And so the victor from the south side of Chicago, there you see him, bad, bad Leroy Brown.